I sense a theme with our meteorologist. Alex told us it was going to rain. Right. Mm -hmm. Ben's saying it's going to rain, but yet as we look outside, we... <laughs> well, it's not happening yet, does it? No. Well, we're talking about for tomorrow, if it happens. Okay. That's what we're, we're hoping for. Is so everybody crossing their fingers? <laughs> we you know, we do need stuff. some. All right, now we looked at a model at the 5 o'clock show. If you saw that, it was uh, not picking up on it on that one, but I think I found one that will show you kind of what we're thinking is going to happen. If you just keep looking around till you find one you like. Here's a look over uh, Warner Robins right now. 86 from House and Healthcare. Not a bad afternoon. Actually running a little bit below average in a couple of spots. Mid 60s tomorrow morning. Between now and then, really nothing going on. And you can see we have a lot of 80s out there now. Some low to mid 80s, a couple of upper 80s on the map. And kind of look for numbers like that again tomorrow. May hit 90 in a couple of spots. All right, so off and on clouds with breaks with some sunshine in there. Earlier today, a sea breeze came in, brought some rain around 95 and then started to roll toward the north. So parts of the state have been seeing rain sprinkles in North Georgia and then back toward Alabama. Bigger stuff there. All right, so if there could be in parts of the state tomorrow and Friday, one or two strong storms with some gusty winds, but I think we take that as long as it, there's plenty, you know, a good bit of rain within these cells. Here's a look at tomorrow. This goes into the afternoon. There may be a stray shower or thunderstorm to pop up. This goes further into around four or five o'clock tomorrow afternoon, even on into the evening. Again, 50 50 shot. I don't think everybody's going to see this. Uh, but it's definitely better than a zero chance. So that's Thursday into Thursday night late. Still maybe a few lingering showers, and that does not mean that's the exact placement of this, but the potential is out there. Friday, as the boundary starts to stall here, we get into Friday afternoon, Friday evening, we could see a couple of showers, maybe a thunderstorm in there. So again, not a 100% rain chance, uh, but definitely a decent one compared to all the zeros we've had for many, many weeks, except for last Friday. I mean, it's just... just in piecemeal whenever we do find it. Let's go long range. This will be Saturday. I think as we go Saturday into Sunday, just kind of hit or miss stuff. You know, the same kind of summertime pattern, heat of the day. We have more humidity in the atmosphere. And this is a map you see in the summertime where it's just kind of spilled paint out there. This is Sunday. We go Monday with the same kind of look, very blobby looking, but that again is what you want to see in the summertime if you're looking for rain, even on in toward Tuesday of next week. So let's talk about temperatures. We'll have 60s in the morning. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll bring it on back up. I think we could hit 90 in a couple of spots. And then as we head into Friday morning, we're back in the 60s again. Friday afternoon, coming back up, maybe some upper 80s. And again, that boundary, the frontal boundary is going to be kind of stalled here. So cloud cover and all that will dictate the actual temperature. Let's go seven day time and get into a time of year where not a whole lot of frills on the old seven day. Every day has, you know, maybe a stray shower or thunderstorm. Decent chances for the next couple of days. We'll drop it down to around 40 or so for the percentage as we go through the weekend into next week. If it's not 80s, it's low 90s. Not a bad stretch. Coming back right after this.